Hello everyone, how are you all doing? Uh, hope your weekend's going well and uh, the weather's nice wherever you are. Okay, so I have got another unboxing for you today and kind of apologies for not being around very much for the past few weeks. Now, what I did uh, put some videos together uh, and I just didn't get them out and then um, when I was going to put them out I kind of thought it was a bit past the time of doing it so I didn't bother so sorry about that um, and some of my videos are going to be a, a little bit less now because I have cancelled some of my monthly boxes just to try and save a bit of money but that's not the case today and I've got box to box now this is the one um, that I've been waiting for and it is quite a heavy one now funny thing is when um, when it arrived and it came this morning with the post um it wasn't in its normal wrapping um it normally comes in bubble wrap uh with a a japan air um like receipt thing um in a like clear window on the bubble wrap but it didn't today it came in in this bag thing Now the um, Japan hair that the Japan hair receipt thing isn't there, um, and this has got a a Royal Mail tracked forty eight hour no signature um, label on it with with my name and address and a return address um, from West and which is a bit odd because. Uh, well, none of the box of boxes that I've had in the past, I, th I don't remember any of them having um, a, a UK return address on. So anyway, I'm not quite sure what's going on there. I'm just hoping that there's there's nothing actually missing from the inside this box. Uh, let me just make a bit of room on the desk here. Let's get to it. So this is the, um, the Sakura box, uh, which... I think I'm pretty sure I put out the last video um, but I did say in that one that I wasn't sure if that one was going to be this one just not in this box but no this is it this is the one that I was waiting for and this is the limited edition uh, print box that it's come in a little bit different to the ordinary orange ones very nice and when we open it up this is what we see. Uh, celebrate Hanami with this limited edition 2022 Sakura Boksu. Learn more at boksu.com slash Hanami. And we've got the little booklet here, here for Sakura season. Culture Guide Volume 36. And we've also got what we here. We've made an update to your box. We've had to swap out one of our snacks due to unforeseen production issues. But we've selected a delicious alternative for you to try instead. We swapped your snack. Um, Aji Karuta Honey Plum. Uh, so that's what we're getting instead of uh, Subiori Komochi Plum flavour. And we've got a little picture of what's been swapped out on the back just there so uh, we'll see what that's like when we get to it and here's a little postcard with a thank you from from Danny on it who's the uh, the boss of Boxu so let's get on with it eh and there's a lot in this box it's it's quite a heavy one um, it was only available to buy um, until the 31st of March. Uh, so, unfortunately, you can't get this particular box anymore. But anyway, here we go. Let's see if I can find this fella. Is that it? No. I 
probably just going to be easier if I if I go through it as it is in the box, rather than uh, rooting through it for everything that comes up as it does in the book. Okay, so the thing that we've got on top here is let's make sure I get the right one. Uh, Strawberry milk marshmallow by Yokoi Chocolate. Uh, this the right one and make sure I've got the right one yes it is uh, these squishy marshmallows are coated in white chocolate that's kneaded with freeze-dried Polish strawberries a harmonious combination of fruit and chocolate and they come in uh, this little bag uh, it is resealable so I'll, I'll open it and uh, give it a go Well, that smells nice. Um, it's got quite a strong white chocolate smell, and um, I find white chocolate a little bit sickly, but you know, this happens. And that's what they look like little squishy marshmallows. Hmm. That's weird, it's not got. <coughs> Excuse me, a normal marshmallow texture, but that could be because of the chocolate and um, strawberry that's combined in it. Right, next one we've got. Find it in the book. Okay, so puree gummy, white peach by Camro. This premium gummy has a delicious jam centre. Flavoured with white peaches from Yamanshi, Yamanashi, Japan's largest peach producer. The sweet and sour crystals on the outside add a burst of yumminess. And it's another resealable bag. And that's these. So I'm going to give give it a go. So, oh, that smells gorgeous. what they look like, little heart shapes. Mmm, that's really nice. Mmm. A little bit of jam in the middle makes it, um, makes a, a pretty soft chewy gummy um, have a really nice softer centre. So yes, very nice. Okay, next up we've got this month's tea, which is Spring Gold Green Tea by Hoshin Hoshino Seichen. Sorry, I might have totally butchered that. Uh, celebrate spring with this beautiful tea package designed exclusively for boxu and enjoy Sencha tea to warm you up from the inside out. You'll love the caffeinated kick and comforting of aroma of Sencha. Is that another one? No, it's not. Looks like there's just one, one tea bag in this month's box. But that's it. Th there might be two in this packet, I'm not sure. It's, pretty, pretty, it's a pretty big packet. It's, it's larger than, than what they normally are. That's, that's the normal size. You can see, yeah, it's a little bit bigger. Okay. Right, so next up, as long as I can find it, Plum Kelp. That's not the uh, one that we've got the swap for, is it? No, it's not. Oh, here we are. Oranda Sembe Plum Kelp by Sakata Baker. Um, if you've ever had an Ome Onigiri, a uh, plum flavoured rice ball, you'll know that plum and seaweed are an incredible combo. This cracker was made in collaboration with Gaio Kuren, a decades old kelp tea maker. Hmm. And it's like a little um, 
edible thing on the side there. Um, the company is a tea maker, but this isn't tea, it's something to eat. And that's uh, the packet that it comes in. Right, so next. Okay. We've got these. And make sure I get the right one here. Uh, Sakura Chinsuko, an adorable shortbread like cookie. Chinsuko are frequently given as omiyagi or souvenir gifts. This treat is shaped, flavoured, and coloured like a Japanese cherry blossom. So that's what you get. And there's two of those in the box, so that's nice. Right. Just trying to make sure I get the right ones here. Ah, here we are. Sakura Sweet Cookie by Ichi Fuji Sika. Uh, this crispy biscuit has a gorgeous Sakura flavour. Japanese cookies like these are mildly sweet, so they can pair perfectly with tea, like the sencha we're featuring in this month's box. Oh, we've got two of these. And that's what they look like. Both in the same type of packet. Let's give one a try, eh? It is that's that's broken inside the packet, but you know it's all right. It smells nice. And it has a little Sakura picture on the biscuit itself. Hmm. It's nice. If you're watching this in the UK, you'll probably know what I mean when I say it tastes like a sport biscuit or a nice biscuit. Um, it's got a slightly um, coconut flavour to it. Um, I can't say I tasted anything else. Except that quite overpowering coconut flavour though. It probably hasn't even got coconut in it, but it did taste of it. Um, see if I can find the next one. Right, so this is Sakura Boucher. Um, a boucher is a small pastry with a sweet filling. This cherry blossom pastry has a Sakura flower printed on the cakey buns. Inside is a sweet and soft cream infused with aromatic cherry juice. And there's one of these in the box. And that's what that looks like. And it's quite big as well. I mean, it's the bag, uh, there is air in the bag as well to act as kind of a cushion for the the cake inside it uh, but the the width that my fingers are apart is actually like the, the width of, of the cake itself so uh, it's quite a decent size that right next up if, as long as I can find them in the book and I had already seen them in fact no I'll, I'll do this one um, I get the right one. Umakara spicy mentai burdock chips. Uh, this nice big packet. Uh, these shatteringly crisp chips are made from gobo or burdock root. They're fried and coated in spicy mentai codro, flavouring for a light yet fiery treat. That should be interesting. 
Okay, now, is this the one that we've got the swap for? Yes, it is. Okay, so the one that we've had swapped out um, is this one. And there are two in the box, one in each packet. And this is uh, Anchocota Honey Plum by Bonchi. This crispy rice cracker is flavoured with high quality Kishu Nanko Bai, um, Umeboshi, pickled plums and mellow Akashi honey. Your tongue will light up with this sendai sweet, savoury and sour flavours. So, um, that sounds interesting. Decent size as well, decent thickness. Nice one. Thank you, Boxu. Okay, so the one that I was looking for right back at the beginning is here and it's uh baker hai tochigi umi zarami uh this rice cracker is flavored with umi japanese plum well balanced by delicious soy sauce it also has a layer of sugar for the perfect savory and sweet combo and that is here and it's a bit of a, a runkled up type of shape uh, it's got wavy bits to it and you can hear the sugar that's inside the packet that's come off the biscuit itself. But that looks like it's pretty interesting. Right. Next one that I've got here is this fella. Now this is one of the reasons that I was so interested in this box um, to get this um, Sakura jelly. Um, and it's a can I... Kanagawa Sakura Jelly by Nature. This bouncy jelly is flavoured with fragrant Sakura blossoms. Maker Nature se uh, selects vibrant pink flowers and pickles them using Umezu, um, Umi Plum Vinegar from Kanagawa Prefecture. We hope you admire the gorgeous packaging as you chew the jelly. And it's got flowers in it. I don't know how well you can see them. Let you see those uh, those little darker bits that you can see right there, there, and there. They're the, um, the the centres of the flowers. You can't really see it very well if I turn it sideways on. Uh, but yeah, and that's a, a really nice size. This was one of the selling points for this particular box um, because um, one of the things that they were hinting was choosing between this and another product and then they said well you get them both in this box so yeah really uh, really glad that it, it did finally arrive right what we got next okay Fujisan Sin Sinchihenge or Sinchihenge um, each of these Mount Fuji shaped rice crackers has an exciting flavour like matcha, purple potato and red pepper that illustrates the beautiful mountain as it appears throughout the year. And that is this packet. There. It's like crispy little rice crackers. So that should be uh, an interesting eat. See what they're like when uh, I get round to opening that. Okay, there's not very many left in the box now. Uh, oh, I think I've had these before. Pretty sure I've kind of recognised the packets. Okay, that's these, and these are sakura mochi. Uh, mochi is a traditional Japanese rice cake made by pounding steamed mochi gome which is glutinous mochi, rice, and rolled in rice flour. Sakura flavoured mochi is a classic hanami flour viewing snack and best paired with green tea. So ideal to go with the tea in this box. Right, the next one that we've got is this one and it's got two little biscuits in the packet. And it's Morikoshi Cookie Sakura Hororo. 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 <laughs> um, have you ever had a polveroni? 
The Spanish cookie is made with roasted almond and flour. This cookie is inspired by a polverone and uses roasted wheat and a zucchini bean flour with an added sakura scent. There is only one of this packet in the box as well. So but I think you can you can just tell that there are two there, yeah? Right, so we're down to the last things in this box. these and these are strawberry choco mochi this mochi is called daifuku or stuffed mochi it's flavored with chocolate and amau strawberries amau are grown in Fu Fu fukuoka and referred to as the king of strawberries for their delicious taste now i'm not sure if this this one that i've still got here is one that i've already done so there's two of them in the box and it's Mana Yukashu Amakara Komaru by Sanshu Sinka. These tiny treats are coated in soy sauce sweetened with honey for the ultimate savoury party in your mouth. The packaging has lines from the Mana Yukashu a series of classic Japanese poems and apologies if I've just butchered that name so yes so like I was saying there's absolutely loads of stuff in this box uh, it's always nice to get them get ones like this because It makes it feel as though it's all the more worth it. And if I, if I start putting these back in, just trying to do it here. So um, I mean, I know you've seen me take each each of them out of the box and show you, but if I just pile them in again without the book on top, oops. That's what it's like. It is like a proper, proper box of goodies. So, um, Boxu is going to be one of the boxes that I keep on getting as much as I can. I might miss months um, out on it, depending on how things go. But I want to keep this one running um, in the long term, wherever I can. Uh, so when I do get them, I'll keep doing the films of them. Um, thank you for watching this video. I do hope you've enjoyed it. Um, I will leave my code for anybody that wants to order uh, to to start start up their own subscription um, and get a money off on their first box. I'll leave that code down in the uh, description box below um i hope you've enjoyed watching this uh take care enjoy the rest of your weekends um look after yourselves and look after each other uh maybe carry your gloves and an umbrella with you because the weather can be still a little bit unpredictable after all we are in april april showers um bring forth may flowers so yes take care of yourselves and i'll see you in the next video obviously if this is the first time you've seen one of my videos my name is jean and it is mostly unboxing videos that i do on this channel so stay tuned drop me a comment if you like i i would also really appreciate it if you uh, give this video a like just so that it can help boost my channel in the algorithms if you so desire of course and if you want to subscribe that would be wonderful too um so yes i'm off now uh gotta get ready for work soon so uh, as, I, as i said after as i keep saying look after yourselves i'll see you in the next video and enjoy the weather while it's nice if it is nice where you live okay see you later folks bye bye